focused on Chris Brown. The singer arrested after an hours long standoff with Los Angeles police accused of assault with a deadly weapon after a woman claimed he pointed a gun at her in his home. ABC's Kena Whitworth spoke with her and is in Los Angeles this morning with all the latest. Good morning, Kena. Amy, good morning. Bailey Curran tells me that she originally went to the singer's house, which you can see right there. It's lit up behind me to see if she could perhaps star in his next music video. But as the night went on, according to her, Brown's behavior became more erratic and she ended up running for her life, leaving from the backyard. Overnight singer Chris Brown arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. And now the woman behind it all is speaking out. Terrified. Absolutely terrified. 25 year old Bailey Curran telling ABC News Brown pulled a gun on her at his Los Angeles mansion. I didn't want anything to escalate more because, hello, he's holding a gun to me. Curran says the hours long standoff with police began when someone brought over a box of expensive diamond jewelry, which she says she admired. And I was just standing over it, admiring it, not touching it. And then one of um, Chris. Chris's friend said, back away from the diamonds. And that's when Chris came in and said, I'm so sick of all of you people. Took the gun out like this, put it in my face and said, get the F out. Did you think that he would pull I thought, the trigger? I thought he was going to shoot me. The Los Angeles Police Department receiving the frantic 911 call at 3 a.m. Tuesday morning. Two females. I know I'm crying and asking for help. Police surrounding the star's home, trying to make contact with him while the singer took to Instagram, posting his claims of innocence. When you get the warrant or whatever you need to do, you're going to walk right up in here and you're going to see nothing, you idiots. Hours later, Brown and several of his friends funneling out of the house and searched by police. I love you, friend. This isn't the singer's first run in with the law. In 2009, Brown pleaded guilty to felony assault and was sentenced to five years probation, a year long domestic violence class, and six months community service for assaulting his then girlfriend, superstar Rihanna. Brown completed that probation early last year. Overnight, Brown's attorney tweeting, Thank you to everyone for their support and well wishes. Chris is out and well. The allegations against him are demonstrably false. Brown was released after posting $250,000 bail. Now, we've also learned overnight that Curran is wanted for questioning in New York in a grand larceny case. According to the New York Police Department, she and a friend are accused of stealing a wallet from another woman. Amy. All right, we appreciate that, Kana. Joining us now, ABC News senior legal correspondent Sonny Hostin. Sonny, there's a lot to weed through here. Well, how bad does this look for Chris Brown? Well, it certainly looks bad, Amy, because we are now seeing what seems to be a history of violent and abusive behavior, starting with the 2009 assault on Rihanna. He did serve many, many years of probation, approximately six years. That probation was lifted in March of 2015, just last year, but only after he violated that probation for assaulting someone in a Washington, D.C hotel in 2014. And so we're seeing this over and over and over again when it comes to Chris Brown. And that is not a good place to be in the criminal justice system. We see recidivism very, very often when it comes to violent and abusive behavior. So yet now another complaint about this kind of behavior is going to be looked at very, very closely by prosecutors reviewing the case. Yeah, and speaking of seeing Chris Brown, we saw a lot of him throughout this on these Instagram rants. rants. What do you make of those? And are, from a legal perspective, what do they do to the case? So you know, I, I think prosecutors are going to look at it. Let's be clear, he hasn't been formally charged yet. His arraignment is going to be September 20th. I did reach out to his attorney, my good friend Mark Garagos, who again says that these allegations are completely false. But I think that it's very fascinating that social media is possibly going to be used as evidence in this case, or at least reviewed by prosecutors. Not only did 
Chris Brown, the uh, alleged defendant in, in this case, posted on Instagram. Ray J was also in the home. He posted on Instagram saying that this was false. And then the alleged victim mm. also posted on Instagram indicating that this was true. And so, you know, I, I think we're seeing over and over again the clash between technology and social media and the law and, 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 and that being used as evidence. We saw it very, very clearly yeah. uh, in the killing of Philando Castile when that Facebook right. Live piece just came out and, and, and everyone got to see what was happening at the same time. Yeah, but of course, everything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. All right, Sonny Hostin, thanks so much.